Welcome back everyone, Jen Obvious. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a track system in Unity and have your object move along that track just like a train would move on a railroad track. So you don't have to do an individual animation for each object. Okay, so right now this is just a testing world of mine. I've got terrain, water, platform down here. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, or i got a shark in here right now. I'm going to show you, um, there he is, how to animate this on a track system so it'll swim around. And you can do this with anything. You can do it with a plane, uh, any object. So let's get started. All right, we got a little shark over here. We're going to slide him out of the way. And the first thing you want to do, uh, we're, this is called Sign Machine, is what the track system is. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the latest Sign Machine tool installed. So go up to Window, go down to Package Manager, and once the unit registry loads up, right here you'll see Sign Machine. And if you don't see it, you can always type it in. Um, not updated here, so we'll have to type it in. Go up here, type in sign, C-I-N-E, it'll come up with this. Make sure your sign machine is updated. So as you can see right now, this is not updated, so we're going to update. Don't worry about removing it. Just If you're using Creator Companion, you're, you're good to go. Uh, just go ahead and click on update, and it'll update the sign machine. Uh, virtual camera. All right, so we got that all up to date. Sign machine is up to date. Close that out. And the first thing you want to do is create a track. So we're going to right click, point of reference, go up to game object, create empty. Okay, here's your parent empty. And let's go ahead and rename that to track for shark. We're going to make this shark move around. Alright, so what I usually do is you want the blue arrow pointing to where you want the object to move. So I usually just turn that around. Uh, we're going to make him want to go that way. So now you notice that the blue arrow is pointed in the direction that we want the shark to go. Okay. Alright, next thing you want to do is click on add component type in sign machine or you can just scroll down the list you'll see sign machine path don't choose smooth path sign machine path and it's gonna put a little railroad track system out here these are waypoints and you can use these to move your track system however you want it move it so it starts there and you move it up and down uh, make it go like a roller coaster if you want so let's go ahead and make that a little smoother and click on here and you just use your arrows to move the track system now we want this to turn around we want to make a circle with a shark so what you're going to do is over here in the path details Click on the triangle, and you're going to add another waypoint. Click on Add to List, and you'll notice another pops up. And let's make this a little rounder. Uh, yeah, let's make it go this way. Not there a little bit. And see how we can curve it. We want to try to get it as smooth as possible so it doesn't have any weird transitions when it hits a waypoint. So that looks pretty straight. Alright, let's make this curve out a little more. Alright, make that a little angle. Come in a little bit here so we can see it better from our platform. And I'll go into play mode and we'll, we'll watch uh, after we're done here. Now, 
Let's go ahead and add another waypoint. We've about exhausted that. And let's go ahead and bring that back in. And you can choose to make it a loop too. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it open right now. Actually, let's go ahead and move that over to here, and we'll just make it uh, make it a loop. All right. So to make this loop, we're going to have this chart go along this track, and it's going to be facing forward. That's what I. Uh, it's kind of picky sometimes trying to get the object to move in the direction you want. So. Hopefully we'll get it the first time. All right, so let's go ahead and make this a looped. Right up here in the track that we made, looped, we're going to select that. Now you notice how it has a little thing here. We're going to have to fix this, move that back down so it's nice and smooth transition. And let's go ahead and sometimes you have to get, get the wrong arrows here. That's a little smoother. There we go. That looks pretty good. So your object is going to start at point zero. And it'll go to one, then two, then three, and so forth. However long your track is. Um, so let's see. This track is going to need to come out a little bit because it's going to run into our thing. Anyway. All right. So we got our track system made. That's one step down. <clears throat> now we want to put this shark on here. Click on the shark again. Make sure you got the parent object for your model or whatever you have in here. Alright, so we're going to put this sucker on the track. Now you notice that the blue arrow is pointing to the right. So you're probably going to go sideways. What I do is I'll go ahead, right click, point of reference create another empty and we'll make this uh, shark parent on track or whatever you want to call it all right so we've got our created empty that we just did for our shark okay so you notice the blue arrow is not pointing in the direction we want let's go ahead and turn this empty that we created around so it's kind of facing the direction we want to go along our, our, tr our track. All right, blue arrow is pointing that way. Now we've got to attach this to that. So let's take our shark and we're going to move that down and we're going to, we're, what we're doing is we're, I'm clicking my left button on my mouse, holding it down let go on the shark parent track now they're all one okay so the shark the model of the shark is a child of the empty parent that we just made all right so we're in here now make sure you have your parent selected go ahead and add component and we're going to go up to sign machine dolly cart. Okay. And what that does is it's kind of like a like a train on a railroad track. Uh, a little dolly cart. And, and notice here it says path. Now we've got our track, our path that we made for the shark. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the left mouse button and drag it into path. Okay. All right, so looking good so far. So he is at point zero right now on the track. Now, normally you could do like a, a if a two is a nice swimming speed. Um, if for some reason, <clears throat> uh, and I've done this before, for some reason you can't get this blue arrow to point in the direction you want, you can always go down to position and you can change it in there. It'll it'll swap around like if the blue arrow was over here, 
here it'll change it to here so that's always an option let's leave that at zero we're looking good so far all right i think that's it we can go ahead and click play and see if this shark moves like we want it to move client simulator here and there goes our shark he's swimming around in a curve he's still facing forward Let's see if i can go underneath the water here yeah i've got the sack flight system enabled in here so i'm able to fly around oh there he comes see nice and smooth he's on a track system so there's no animation on the object itself. The only animation that's on the object right now is the swimming motion that came with the model. So that's it, guys. Uh, how to make a track system using the sign machine in Unity. Putting an object on it. So you don't have to put animation on the object. You just use the track system. Just like a train on a railroad track. And that's it, guys. We'll see you on the next video.